So years ago, I knew somebody who was, uh, I kind of considered the, the Tesla of biochemistry. And he could breathe 100% hydrogen, sit there for a couple hours on a pure hydrogen tank, and his body would free up the oxygen from uh, the water in his body, and he could do some trippy stuff that nobody's ever seen. Problem is, is he had a modality that helped a lot of people. A lot of the blood tests were done at Sacred Heart Hospital in Spokane. Uh, like a blood chemistry analysis method, and he was able to balance biochemistry. But the problem was, is that it was so complicated. I mean, he had like six or seven PhDs worth of knowledge from anatomy to zoology and everything in between. He was quite a genius, but nobody was able to take all that and help themselves with it. It always relied on him. And, uh, and so he passed uh, a number of years ago. He was a good friend of uh, one of my longtime mentors, and I wish I had spent more time with him. But in any case, it required a very extensive background in all kinds of different sciences to be able to interpret his results and how to balance uh, uh, your, your, your body's chemistry. Uh, about a, last year, shortly after the conference, um, we were all over at Jeff's house and uh, uh, met a few new people and um, was introduced to somebody and later on, one of my friends, Victor, and some other people had um, started to uh, meet with our next uh, presenter and had learned some biochemistry balancing methods. And I was kind of fascinated by it. And I could see positive results in their life and him and his sister and some other people that she was uh, kind of working with and kind of guiding along on this, on this process. And I was fascinated by it because I've been looking for something that I can do myself because the one that I mentioned uh, before was you know, way too complex, so it wouldn't really do anybody any good. And um, I started to take a look at it. It started to fascinate me a little bit more. I um, uh, got a copy of uh, uh, some books, and there's some downloads you can find online that digs a little bit into uh, what this modality is about. But it really is something that everybody needs to learn about, and, it, and it's quite profound. You know, a lot of places you go to, there's different holistic practitioners. I have a bachelor's of science in natural health, owned a health food store, worked with a lot of uh, medical doctors who were practicing holistic medicine. So I've been kind of engulfed in that whole world for, you know, maybe 20, 20 years or so. And, um, but a lot of the stuff that people are doing is, you know, take a pH strip, measure their saliva, and that's like about the extent of their, you know, uh, biochemistry analysis and it just doesn't cut it and so what you're going to be learning here is a modality that's very profound very deep it's been around for a long time and our presenter is probably the leading um, uh, authority on this particular method that she knew the developer of it who had recently passed and she's been doing it for about 40 years and so out of anybody in the country who knows this inside and out and who's practiced it diligently for about 40 years um, she has a lot of knowledge to be able to share with you. And again, this is very, very simple. It's something that you can do and you should definitely let other people in your life know about it because it's, it's very, very empowering. So please help me welcome Katya Gwynn. What our biggest line is in RBTI is, hey, doc, what do I do for this? Well, what are your numbers? Because we don't guess. We go by the numbers, the numbers tell us everything. Doc Reams could look at this formula and tell you that you have a tumor the size of a golf ball on your descending colon, could tell you you have any symptom except pregnancy and a stomach ulcer. The best source of pure water is provided by nature, that's what rain is, pure distilled water. Unfortunately today, with our contaminated air. It ionizes with all the contaminants in the air and after a rainstorm, the air is nice and clean because it's cleaned the air by, by ionizing with all the contaminants. And then we have that all in our water. So we can't really drink rainwater anymore, unfortunately. Um, so we have to redistill it if we want to have pure water as nature intended for us to drink. And um, another argument about distilled water is a lot of people will say, and some of you are thinking secretly and haven't spoken up about it, oh, but there's no minerals. But it leaches minerals. And both are true and hallelujah for that. We have so much junk in our body or we would have pure, clean, soft skin with no, no, 
outbursts and no nothing showing. We wouldn't be wrinkled. We'd be full hydrated cells. Wrinkles are dehydrated cells. The pH is when they're out. It's, it shows us mostly the, the, the mineral deficiencies. By weight and by volume, calcium, phosphates, and potassium are the three primary minerals. Almost everybody is deficient in some or all of them, and we replace them uh, with supplements, supplementation. The conductivity number is uh, almost... Uh, I've never tested anybody who had a decent conductivity. Everybody is too high in mineral salts, too high conductivity, too high strung, too dehydrated. It's all the same thing. It all shows up in the conductivity number. The cell debris tells us how quickly the cells are dying. A cell should have a typical life of about six months, and so they exchange themselves. The body doesn't repair cells, it replaces them, so it flushes them out. We see them in the urine, and typically we see more than we should. They're dying too fast, and if we have a 240 cell changes in our life, which Doc Reams said we have, then we should be able to maintain good health until about 120 years old at six months for each cell until we start to degenerate and deteriorate. Not many of us do that. Um, and the proteins, um, whether they're acid or alkaline, tell us what range we're in. And, and if we, the, the big number in the, in the proteins tells us if we're getting enough potassium, which I just told you is one of the three top uh, vital minerals. And it's, every organ has its favorite mineral. Potassium is the brain's favorite mineral. The heart's favorite mineral. Anybody care to gander a guess? Arsenic. What we do to test it and what, uh, what Reams would teach farmers to do, all farmers take their refractometer into the field and test their corn or test their celery or whatever it is to see what the sugar level is, what the BRICS reading is, because that's directly correlative with the mineral content of the fruit or the vegetable. And that's the same with us. And if you have fruits or vegetables that, that are low in minerals, they're going to rot. And if they're high in minerals, they're going to dehydrate. It, a, a lot of times, quite honestly, in 40 years, most people who seek out help um, have been told to go home and die. They have a couple months to live. Um, I had one friend who needed testing morning and night. Um, she was diagnosed with angiopathic neuropathy. She was the seventh of seven known cases at the time. She was told she had maybe one to three months to live. Her husband called me and said, we need, to, we need your help. And, um, and so I met him after work. He was a school teacher. And we stood there in the parking lot after school talking. And he said, well, I said, you're going to have to do this together or I'm not going to uh, teach you anything. I'm not going to accept you as my students. He said, oh, but I'm perfectly healthy. And he had gray hair and he wasn't 40. That's mineral deficiency. So I could teach him how to test himself so they could test themselves twice a day, morning and evening. His wife was home on the sofa. She crawled to the toilet every day, once a day, and that was the whole of her exercise. With her diagnosis of angiopathic neuropathy, they cut her ankle. She was no longer ambulatory. And, um, and so he had to learn to take care of her and they learned together and um, tested themselves and uh, did, it, did, did it over the phone and consulted and got educated. And, um, and that was August and <laughs> she wanted to walk by Christmas. <laughs> she didn't think she was gonna live to September, but uh, she didn't, but she walked by New Year's. And she learned the program so well that she went on and became a practitioner, has helped many, many, many people.